Igor Lukanin. Fraser and uh, Lukanin from uh, Azerbaijan. Kristin has followed in the Chris Howarth path. She's a skating director of a rink in Montclair. I know where I'd go to get my skates. And where would that be? Well, it wouldn't be at your rink in Chicago. No, I, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Okay, well, I enjoyed the performance, but I've got to ask the question about the costume. I don't know. I don't know how Igor's costume added to that performance because all it did was detract from t the lines to me. It was yeah. a det detraction. Distraction, should I say. Such a shame because th they have got better, these two, and they're certainly very strong. And this, the, the Paso Doble, is a dance that really suits their style of skating. But for me, with those tails flapping about all over the place, it, it just completely took away from any enjoyment of the dance. And the, look how accurate their footwork is. Beautiful edge work, nice tidy feet. And that's what this dance is all about. It's a, a tight, tidy, fast, crisp, clean dance. And then you've got those tails flapping about. Yeah, I'm not sure. You, you could hardly see his footwork. No. It, it, such a pity. Because I thought the performance wasn't too bad at all. And it'll certainly be interesting to see what the judges do with that. That's all I care. Because these two have really hit a brick wall. They're then struggling to move up now. Love to get in the top ten, but. Yeah, they were eleventh last year. It's going to be tough for them isn't it? on that performance at this stage. Hi Penny, hi Julie. This call is please for Kristen Fraser and Igor Lukanin. She's originally from uh, Palo Alto. The compulsory dance score, please. Now then. Third place at the moment, 28-46. They've got second.